hello guys welcome to crafts by doti on this week's video we'll be sharing with you the process of how we built mahogany clergy seeds The project required lots of 5.5 by 10 inch mahogany pieces. To save on cash, we decided to buy a beam measuring 12 by 6 inches, 10 feet long. That way, we ended up saving 40% of the cost that would incur if we bought single pieces. The beam was split into 3 quarter by 6 inch pieces using heavy duty table saw. We did all this at Kikomba where we purchased all the wood for this project. In the end, we had 18 pieces of 3 quarter by 6 inches, 3 by 5s measuring 3 feet, 4 by 1s measuring 10 feet, and 3 by 1s measuring 18 feet. Next, we took the 3 quarters and the 3 by 1s to the spindle so that we can create a decorative pattern on each face as shown. On the 3 by 5s we drew the design that we wanted for the armrests and had them cut on the bandsaw. We couldn't get the chance to record the process but this is how they turned out. We then ferried everything to the workshop where the actual work begins. We started off by cutting the 5 by 1s into the required size using a meter saw. The wall where we are going to place the clergy seat was 10 feet long, so we divided into three parts, two parts measuring 3 feet and the center part measuring 4 feet. For this project we decided to use mortise and tenon joints. We placed marks for the mortises on the lower rails as shown. To create the mortises, we used half inch router bit which we attached on our router. We did several passes on the wall divider and the bottom rail. For the tenons, we did mark and set our table saw blade to cut on the outer part of the mark as shown. We did two passes for each. Once the passes were done, we removed the two top leaves, leaving us with a tenon at the center. We repeated the process until all the pieces were done. We then removed the excess using mallet and a planer blade. We did a dry fit to check whether all the pieces were all placed. Most of the pieces went in smoothly, but some pieces we had to reduce the tenons as we fit.
Once we were done, we worked on the middle part, then progressed on to work on the third part. After all the dry fitting was done for the three parts, we dismantled it and planed down all the pieces. After all the planing was done, we used wood glue and 1 inch nails which we did reduce by cutting the nail heads using pliers so that we ended up having each nail measuring 3 quarter inch. We then used a long clamp to hold all the pieces together as we glue up. For the middle part we used only glue without nails but we had to use the nails for the outer frame to make it firm. We left the whole piece to dry overnight and when we came back the next day it was solid and nice. We began working on the outer decorative frame which we did by attaching the 4x1s. We then went ahead to make the chairs and we started by marking and then creating the mortises. For the seat rails we used 2x1s and 8x1s respectively. On the 8x1s we created decorative patterns using a jigsaw and a router. We then attached all the pieces using wood glue and 2 inch nails. For the arms we used a round over bit to kill all the sharp edges on each arm then attached them using 3 inch screws. We also made side tables on each seat which the clergy can use to place items. On the meter saw we created two half lap joints then used a rough file to clear the joints then attached them together to make a simple cross. We then nailed it on the back stand. To polish up everything we did a light coat of mahogany stain. We then made the back seats and back pillows. We then painted it up with 5 coats of clear varnish sanding in between each coat. That's how we completed this project. We were so glad that it turned out as expected despite it being our first time project. We 
if you want such seats for your church give us a call and we'll be glad to work with you Thanks a lot for clicking into Crafts by Doty. We are so glad to have your support. If you feel the need to support our work, check out our details on the About section. Until next time, bye-bye.